invented the bubble letter. And from that one simple thing, it's gone a pretty long way in it, really, when you think about it. You know? I use a lot of background techniques from what I've learned from Raphael, the years, pills, different things on the background, completely taken apart. And a lot of, of slams them down a lot as well. I tend to, I tend to go aggressively into them. Take the Anything that I've always done has asked to be a mix of all these different mediums. You know, so if you say let's play drum and bass music, okay, so I know what it is, I'm learning from these guys in Dolly's Hill, and then I want to go, right, what well, can I do with that now? So I've got that, well, how can I apply it? You know, I used to work with uh, screen printing, and one of the things I always do when I was 18. It was the first job that I ever did was screen printing. And, um, for me, stencil art has always kind of been interested in me, but I always felt that this new thing wasn't really made. It was like, well, if you are going to use stencils, then it's actually you've got one thing that's screening everything else. I've learned freestyle art for some years, so we were like stencil fucker. And there was, you know, the whole anti stencil for many years. But then I thought to myself, you know what, if we're going to do this and make it different, how can you kind of get their acceptance as far as what you want to do differently? To make a big change and have the best of all So I don't realise that if you, you know, it's a screen print, you can actually put anything into that one area. It's cool, it's easy. Because I find it's, I love screen print, I love stencil art, it's just very, very two dimensional. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's painting by numbers, let's face it. It is, it's painting by numbers, it's easy. I could teach you to do it. It's pretty it's easy. And I always remember. Graham telling me about a guy called Joseph Rydford, who was an art critic, and he did, a, he did a lecture in 1970, and he said graffiti is the application of a medium to the surface. I never really forgot that. I think, I think graffiti does belong on the street, and it should have its galleries within the street system. It should have that. For me, I spent 20, you know, I forget how long I've been doing this. It's like, I've been, just, like, if I had time, I haven't got time to sit there and contemplate a wall at 6 in the morning. I spent more hours in the on walls in the morning. I've put my time doing that. I think, and you know what, that, 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 to be quite honest, that period of my life was better than left alone because it was downtime for me to really understand the fuck I was. Do you know what I mean? It's when you're along with a wall at night and pain. It's a different, it's a, you, can't really, you can't really beat that in a sense of, but it's not something that I want to sit here and go, oh, you know, I'm, you, know you have memories of it and you've got stories to tell your mates over a fucking beer. We've been riding on walls for centuries. I think, I think the, not the ignorance with art in general, I think there is a certain amount of ignorance. It's like when people say, you know, great dancing and body popping and everything else. So yeah, you know, I see all these great body and else. But if you actually go back and, and read the artwork, and look at the people that bought the music from Cuba, blue collar workers that came there, and they were doing all these mad dancing to drummers. That's where it breaks really came from. And there's a fantastic documentary called uh, From Hip Hop to Mambo, from Mambo to Hip Hop, which is done by Henry Chalfox, who makes the way up. Fascinating documentary. Probably one of the most fascinating documentaries I've ever seen pertaining to this culture. Because when we get this culture, we're so, we're so narrow with it, we have such an annihilistic approach to it. I think graffiti became its own beast in that sense that we, we didn't want anything from the outside because you know, you know, we, we've been beat down for so long. That's kind of changing, the perception's changing. There's a lot more writers that are a lot more. I mean, you know, early Tiki, man, you couldn't really talk to Tiki. Yeah. These guys, you know, I used to go and kneel stand in rooms with these guys in Emily Chalfont's studio and I was in fear of these guys. You know, these are hardcore graffiti artists, you know, that lost a lot of people along the way, you know. And you're some, you know, fluffy tailed kid from, the, from England. Because I wanted to be individual, I wanted people to know this, I wanted people to think, who the fuck do you think he is? I wanted that. Yeah. Just causing people to think about me differently, because I am somebody. Do you know what I mean? And I wanted people to think differently. Call me old fashioned, I'm out of touch. We're back. <laughs> 